how do you keep your employees motivated? That's a great interview question for a manager level position. Welcome to the interview game by Indeed, where candidates compete by answering real interview questions. And we show you how to answer with a winning response. Hello, Kyle. I understand you're hiring for a new store manager role. Hey, Drew. Yeah, I need a new store manager to supervise our in-store sales team. This person needs to have strong leadership and communication skills and must delegate responsibilities so we can meet our goals and they must set a positive example. This is really different than a sales associate. This role is about leading the team. Can you help me find my new store manager? 100% yes. Candidates, are you ready? Jackie. What makes you qualified to be a manager? Being a manager is all about sales. I consistently hit my numbers no matter what comes up. My team would also be focused on hitting sales goals. Plus, I know your store. I've been shopping here for years, so I can also relate to your customers. Thanks, Jackie. Leanne, what makes you qualified to be a manager? I love working with people, but even more than that, I love motivating a team to do their best work. I've been a manager for five years, and during that time, I've adjusted my mindset to focus on the success of my team. I've worked to be a terrific delegator and to set clear expectations for my staff. As a result, my team has exceeded sales goals for three years straight. Well done. Hi, Sanjay. Same question to you. I've been a manager for nine years. My teams have all worked on commissions, so they're motivated to get customers in and get them in line. That's all I care about. That's all you care about? I'm qualified because I know that the secret to success is to keep things simple. I tell my team, make your sales and make your quota, and then everyone's happy. Interviewers ask this question to make sure you have what it takes to lead a team. Since Jackie doesn't have management experience, I really wish she had explained why she's ready to make this career jump. Her answer was more aligned with a sales associate than a manager. Leanne's response was really solid. When she said, I've adjusted my mindset to focus on the success of my team, it showed that she understands the difference between being a sales associate and a manager. Sanjay has lots of sales experience, but beyond his years in the field, he didn't mention anything about empowering his team beyond telling them to make sales. Next round, everybody. Jackie, how do you keep your employees motivated? I stay motivated by getting into a customer service mindset before work. I have a little system. It works for me, so I feel like it could work for my team. Also, I really focus on sales goals. That's how I do it, and I want to motivate my staff to also get into that mindset. Huh, interesting. Now to Leanne. Same question. I have three management practices to keep my employees motivated. First, we have a daily meeting to review our goals and our game plan. And once a week, I meet with each sales associate. I want them to know that I'm here for them, but I also want to empower them to solve their own problems. Other managers at my company have also started following these rituals. It definitely seems to be working. Music to my ears. Sanjay? Honestly, I believe that employees are motivated by the bottom line. That's it. So I really focus on the numbers. If you're performing, I'll reward you and I'll sing your praises. But if not, then this isn't a good professional fit. Goodbye. I asked Jackie how she motivates her team. She answered by sharing how she motivates herself. I love how Leanne crafted her approach by thinking about past managers. And when she said that other managers are copying her, it shows that she has the right skills to be a manager. With Sanjay's response, I just don't believe that his employees all share one single motivation. Strong managers must be flexible in order to meet the individual needs of their team. Next round, everybody. To those of you watching at home, click the link below to download the Indeed mobile app. Final question to Jackie. Tell me about your conflict management skills. I hate conflict, always have. 
I'm a rule follower. Why can't we all be? So as a manager, I would make sure the rules are really, really obvious. This is what's expected. This is what you do. Crystal clear. Leanne, you're up. In my current role, we had two sales associates who were frustrated by the commission split. So first, I referred to the company's commission policy and then met with them together to resolve the issue. I also checked individually with each of them. It was really rewarding to watch these two employees teach others on the team about the policy. I'm blown away. Sanjay? I've intervened between two sales associates and I've intervened between two customers. In each of these situations, I establish authority, listen as best I can, and come up with a solution that solves the problem. Is everyone satisfied? Never, but hey, that's life. My team needs to be focused on sales and nothing else. Just cold hard cash, huh? Hiring managers want to see how you've navigated tough situations and what you've learned from them. Jackie clearly avoids conflict. As a person, I get it. But as a manager, conflict management is a major part of the job. Leanne shared a specific example, which I liked. I also love how she referred to the company policy and empowered her team to teach others about the policy. Sanjay knows how to resolve conflict, but he doesn't seem to care about the end result. He missed an opportunity to demonstrate how he can set the tone for his team. Kyle, I think we're ready for your decision. A good store manager needs to be able to motivate their team, delegate responsibilities, and can't shy away from resolving conflict. The strongest candidate is Leanne. That means Leanne moves forward in the interview process. <laughs> when interviewing for a manager position, remember, it's important to demonstrate that you have what it takes to lead a team, not just be on one. Even if you don't have any experience as a manager, this is your time to show that you have what it takes to be a great leader. Thank you, applicants. And as always, thank you for watching. Oh. By the way, if you want to take your job search to another level, click the link below and download the Indeed mobile app.